Welcome to the Veloce Grand Prix, coming to you from the all-new F1 Drive in London. Today's track is the Super Circuit, 500 metres long, 17 nail-biting corners and two impressive DRS zones. This track is full of tight and technical chicanes, plus a long start-finish straight, which will make things very interesting. So who's taking on the challenge today? We've got eight races competing across 15 laps. Let's find out just who they are. That's the lineup then. Competitive spirits are high down in the pit lane, but this is a random grid, so let's see where everything is lining up. Here we go then. Down in eighth place is Dirk Chocolate. He'll have a lot to do to make up some places today. In seventh, we have Elray. Up in sixth is Karting Pro, Kit Bolovsky, next to Ponden in fifth. In fourth position, we have racing sensation Jamie Chadwick, alongside the Kiwi James Blair in third. He'll have to watch the back of that start line. In P2, we have Luke Sam and Cameron Das completes our lineup in P1. There's the lineup then. Let's hear how they're all feeling down in the pits. So the only way I can go is backwards, which is very scary. Uh, hopefully top three, but with the guys behind me, I, I really doubt it. Please say I get the weight advantage and I just absolutely rip onto people. P1, I'm beating all the professionals easily. Just let you know now. Nervous. Was that only go forwards? Yeah, hopefully. Hey, full disclosure, viewers, I had a, a wicked bout of food poisoning last night, so this could go completely tits up. I don't know if I should be happy or sad, because being at the back, you don't have to worry about everyone overtaking you, but yeah, we'll see how we go. And now as all the carts line up onto the grid, it's Cameron Das on pole. Alongside him is Luke Sam as they put pedal to the metal. And it is go, 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 go. Great start from Luke Sam straight away. Oh, Chadwick's done me off a lot. Go on, Jamie, go around the outside. <laughs> Two trailer park girls go around the outside, eat the camera down. Jamie Chadwick, maybe to take the lead of the race. She does heading through the chicane. It's Jamie Chadwick who leads here at F1 Drive. A fabulous opening lap already for her. The three-time W Series champion taking full advantage and has managed now to take up the running. Further back though, there's lots of squabbling happening for P2 as a nudge in the rear there for Luke Sam. You see plenty of drivers trying to fight for places. Cameron Das getting very much undone by El Rey as they run side by side down through towards turn one here on lap two. As they do so, El Rey committing. And there's now stolen P4 away from Cameron Das, but still in this early going, it is still Jamie Chadwick out in front here. She's had a great start to this race and has got clean air right in front of her. She can just focus on her own race. Face me. She doesn't have to get caught, caught up in all the mayhem further down in the battles for P2, P3 and P4 and onwards. Oh, major mistake there from Luke Sam getting a huge tank slapper and unfortunately getting caught out in the process. Still quite a gap there between Jamie Chadwick and Elray down the inside and it's spun <laughs> Luke Sam. Oh no. <laughs> no! Let's go! Cameron Das has got away with it as well. Elray Curry also getting away to Chocolate, jumping the pair of them. And unfortunately for Luke Sam, he's got to try and self right himself and get back on track. As we now ride on board with Ponden, who is trying to find himself some extra places as well. Right, I'm going to have to get him in to try and punch him up my way here. Here in this case, as Dirk Chocolate faces some excruciating, some excruciating pressure here from El Rey. He goes down the inside, coming out of the chicane now. But El Rey somehow <laughs> managing to survive that moment with Dirk Chocolate. Comes out ahead of him. To be fair, hey, to be fair, for an insurance broker from New Zealand, that's not f***ing bad. I'm sure this is a fight we'll see rumble on right through the course of this race. Both of them, of course, known to each other in the sim racing world. And now once again, look set to resume their fight here this time in real life. As we now right on board here with El Rey, coming through this next right hander now, being closed down once again as they open up lap four on this occasion. As they now head through. Oh, and Dirk Chocolate there with an almighty ah, power right, slide right, right. through the hairpin. And he manages to overtake El Rey. Let's go, let's go, let's but go, El Rey man. coming straight back at him now as they run wheel to wheel through the chicane. Dirk managing to force himself. Still on the outside, El Rey refusing though. 
to back down. He's committing now to this next right. He's going to come off the throttle, back onto it again. The up and under working brilliantly. And it's oh, Ray no. Geary who manages to jump oh, no. Turk Chocolate with one of the most sensational up and unders you'll see in karting. Truly fabulous, well executed. What a pleasure to watch indeed between those two massive fights that we love to see even in karting around this super circuit here at F1 Drive. 500 meters in length, 17 corners, plenty of opportunities here for overtaking and two DRS zones as well. We just caught James Blair as well, looking to make his way around the track and uh, some more moves happening further down. Number 22, belonging to Kip Volovsky, also fighting it out here. It's Cameron Das, who we're currently riding on board with, also looks to gain places. I can defend my honor. James Blair might be his next victim here. He just lost out in Kipolovsky, and I now think that Cameron Das might be looking for a move himself this time as they run down the home straight to begin their next lap. And down the inside from Cameron Das, probably one of the easiest moves he would have ever made in racing. Immediately a nudge in the back there straight away from James Blair. Obviously not content with the idea that Cameron Das has made that move look so easy on him as they come through the hairpin now. Cameron Das, of course, a two-time single-seater champion. Champion in 2021 in the Euro Formula Open Championship and F4 United States Champion back in 2016. Oh, God, I'm starting to feel sick now. God, this is a lot of work for a 26-year-old. Oh, f*** me. Almost went completely sideways here. Great chance here now for Cameron Das to try and mass an overtake against Belovsky, who has been known to do his fair share of karting in the past. Come on, Cameron Daz. They're uh, really giving something to the Cameron Daz to think about here. Positioning his cart in all the right places, maybe more defensive minded than attacking here at this point. As we now see them around the hairpin this time, this is a battle happening Ooh. further back. Of course, between El Rey Guri, this time with Pondon. Of course, we saw the other purple cart earlier on belonging to Dirk Chocolate. He's tapping the brake on absolute, so sensitive. It was donning number two. This though, the number 17 of Pondon, who's now under attack here from the Spaniard, El Rey Guri, finding a move down the inside. Fabulous overtake, but Pondon looking switch for back. the switchback as well, but managing to cover it off. Brilliant, brilliant display there from El Rey Guri. Cameron Das also forcing a move into turn one here on lap eight. And uh, has managed to finally break Kit Polovsky as they now head out to the hairpin this time around as well. James Blair also looking to try and fight back in points of momentum. Kipolovsky once again putting the pressure on Cameron Das, who made a little error coming out of the hairpin. Oh God, I can't even talk. I don't know whether I'm too old or if I drink too much. Oh my God. There's Jamie Chadwick. She's had very little to worry about. Was driving for Andretti Global once again here in 2024. Of course, racing with them last season. We alluded to her multi-time championships in W Series in 2019, 2021 and 2022, but even prior to that, MRF Challenge Champion in 2018-19 and also a British GT Champion in GT4s back in 2015. Once again, Cameron Das being forced to try and defend. I'm catching Cameron Das in the trials. I keep forgetting ERS is a thing. I'm a, I'm a bit long in the tooth. I'm more of a Kurz generation guy. A truly stellar display from Kit Belovsky. I don't think his oh, story, right. story is all said and done just yet. We now run on board with El Rey. Coming through the slalom here at the F1 drive circuit, the super circuit. Plenty more action to be had. El Rey Guri, once again, we're riding on board with him. He's had a very physical race indeed. Certainly imparting some of that work he does in sim racing once again into karts. Got the RF Certainly does show after some of his moves that he has made on the likes of Dirk Chocolate and also on Cameron Das as well if you look very early on in the race. Pondon though this time coming under a little bit of pressure as they now fly through the first corner here on lap 10. Notice the tail, the gap's thinner than a fly's eyelash and Dirk Chocolate through past Pondon. Red Bull versus Red Bull. Fantastic move there from Dirk. Oh, well, I'm sure he'll be absolutely delighted with that one. Back with Cameron Das, who still has Kipolovsky right behind him here at this point, and just looking behind in his rear view mirror. And Kipolovsky with a fantastic overtake looks to try and force the issue against Cameron Das. 
who whilst he's doing his best and error as well from Elway Guru who gets the, the rear stepped out on the cart once again Ponden though this time looking to try and force a move past Dirk Chocolate these two coming together again Dirk though with that inside line defending the place but Ponden still working hard to try and unseat Dirk Chocolate you'll get the straight though he has a look to the outside but an error and Ponden is round goodness me the two content creators coming together but Ponden unfortunately succumbing in that instance and has unfortunately got to try and get himself back on track self rights himself and try and close up what he can of course now on lap 12 I'm in last now, are you kidding me? I'm in that whole pile up. This is so much fun. Only the small matter of three, three laps left to go here at the F1 Drive Super Circuit. I reckon I can do this literally all And day. it comes down to this, Jamie Chadwick, while she is out in front, she's being closed up upon by Cameron Das here at this point, as well as Kit Polovsky, who currently sits in third place. We've got a monumental battle for the race win. Oh, God. Right, the boys are catching Jamie Chadwick. Your top three decorated with two single-seater champions. Oh my god, we got the fast people behind me now. We're going to pull out of the way in a second. The three-time W Series champion meets the 2021 Euro Formula Open champion. The question is, who will come out on top in this fray now? Oh, cramp, 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 crampinade. Two or so laps to go, maybe more like one and a half laps here at this point now, as certainly Cameron now starts to grind closer and closer towards Chadwick, but immediately very wary of Kit Belovsky in behind, who's going to be making his life a misery right now. A bit of a ding-dong going up the front. I'm not the fastest driver out here. There's Cameron Das. We're currently riding on board with him right now. You can see Jamie Chadwick right in front. Blue flags there as well from Ponden. All right, let's follow the pros now. Let's pretend we're racing them. Who immediately allows the top three to move on through to commence oh their God, final fight to decide who is going to win this very intense race here at the Super Circuit at F1 Drive. Jamie Chadwick once again though under pressure from Cameron Das, he's right in the wheel tracks. See ya. What a sensation she has been. She's done a great job as well as had a pretty cool Karma Collective race. We haven't seen much from Jamie Chadwick through the course of this race. I'm okay. um, The podium's gone. The dream's over. Just go back to sell it. loser. Is where we start to see it all happen this time in the closing laps lap 14 and very soon after this penultimate lap we will be on the final lap where everything gets decided and now what this time around is cameron das who manages to take the lead here from jamie chadwick and kit Belowski moves into second as well a massive fight now but das losing out again and kit Belowski leads the race here on lap 15 the final lap of the race this is where everything gets decided. Jamie Chadwick still within a shot. Incredible scenes here though. There's been no seeing Cameron Das down the inside of Jamie Chadwick again. These two going at it. An error for Ponden in these closing stages too as they now all meet oh, look at my out dad. on track. This is so tiring. Truly astounding here at F1 Drive. Here at the Super Circuit. Kim Belowski out in front trying to hold on to the lead of the race. Cameron Das though, looking to take it up to the line. Can he steal it? He can! Cameron Das wins here in the F1 Drive Super Circuit race. <laughs> oh my God. A fist bump here <laughs> with Jamie Chadwick. What a fight between those three right to the very end. Credit to Kit Belovsky, but it's Cameron Das, your winner here at F1 Drive.